Yo, what's up boys? Collision here real quick. I just want to let you all know that I'm going to be streaming on Twitch from here on out, doing all my gameplays over there that we're going to be showing here on the channel. Just want to let you guys know just in case you wanted to see us live or drop a follow. Everything is obviously extremely appreciated. Thank you all for the support. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Yo, what's going on boys? Collision here and welcome back to another gameplay breakdown today we're going to be going over some of our u-trips uh games that we have done so far now this first game is going to be a little rough compared to the others we're going to see this is actually my first game even playing with the formation this is kind of when i was debating if i even wanted to look into it if i wanted to make a video about it i saw other guys using it saw the protections really really good having that tight end on the line is an absolute game changer and so this is kind of the game where i'm like i'll give it a shot kind of run what i know about it as so we're coming on scat here Scat is so awesome against literally any type of zone in the game. I absolutely love it. But, you know, so if, you get, if you're going to see some, or you are going to see some misreads and some pretty bum plays for this first game. But don't worry, game two, game three, we lock in. So we see main coverage here. We're coming out in corners. We're trying to hit our freeform dot that we went over in the guide. If you haven't checked out the guide yet, hey, maybe give it a chance. Check it out. Uh, we've been learning a lot with this formation. Really, really good at blocking blitzes, beating every coverage shell in the game. Really a phenomenal form as we hit our tight end late in that play, but we're still able to get a completion. I'm thinking I have him beat over the top here, but we get a poor accuracy. I don't know if I caused that poor accuracy if it was just the game because this was an all-pro game. As we come back out here and scat, we see he's coming out in cover three, so we go ahead and hit the corner out deep on the sideline. Absolute great right route there by Jerry Rice as we're going right back to him. We see man-to-man -man coming out in corners, making sure we have that running back on the check and release as we're getting a little sticky out here with Jay Rice. And a really, really good card. Unfortunately, boys, I have let go of Jerry Rice as we go ahead and hit Devin Hester here in the corner of the end zone wide open. But went ahead and got the new Devontae Smith today. And uh, we're going to be going with him. Don't worry about these next two plays. These are in wing slot. I just thought I'd add them. But, you know just so you guys can keep up with the score, but don't worry about it. It's not really going to be covering anything on these two plays. But we went ahead and got Devontae Smith, and we're putting him on the squad. I just thought with his uh, attributes, he'd play a little better in all Madden. He just reached all the thresholds, especially the release threshold with the strategy cards I had with him. So I just think he's going to be better for me, you know, in the long run. So... You will see him in games two and three coming up after this one. So just keep that in mind. He'll be playing in the slot for us. So right here, we come out and tight end whip. And we are able to luckily find Devin Hester here on the back end of the play, beating his man coverage really late. We're able to make a cross field throw. Get an absolute laser there. As I believe I'm coming out here in a stock tight end whip. I should show the play art here. All right, what are we doing here? Is this a corner? Is this a drag? Is a wheel? It's like a terrible play art. I don't know what I'm trying to beat right here. Yeah, everything's absolutely bagged. Yeah, that's a terrible play. <laughs> but we're coming here and scat, coming out and scat, second and 24. We're looking for Jerry Rice on the corner of the end zone, able to get down at the 18, make it a third and manageable here as we're coming out and tight end whip. What are we looking for? Able to find Cooper Cup on the back end of the post. What's so nice about tight end whip is having both of those post routes make it so good when you have to start flipping your trips honestly it can really get into a lot of players heads as we end up winning this game here we force a rage quit and a lot of people will forget about that backside post so now we're in game two we see our opponent is starting off in man coverage so we're immediately hitting corner out we're trying to get sticky trying to get up the field still have a good play there as we're coming out and stutter across now i see the the uh, go route here i probably watching this game back i probably would have tried to hit that as i take it off warren moon i should have fumbled fortunately enough we're able to hold on to it, but we should, we go ahead and come out and stutter seam that last play. Come out here and tight and whip here. We're able to hit our post late by Chad Johnson getting open in between the two thirds of the cover three. Now we're on to game three here against Swag Malley. Now, dude, this guy was an absolute dog, man. This guy had a legit offense, really, really good opponent. Um, once again, we see main coverage. We're coming out in corners. I love to start the game out with this, seeing what our opponent's going to run. As right here, we come out in curl flats, and this is a terrible play call by me against a cover one. I should have put more hot route adjustments on the field. I just didn't. Basically ran the play stock. Really, really poor decision by me. As we get sacked here on third down, making it fourth and forever. And right here, I want to mention, I put a post on Devontae Smith here while I'm running the stutter seam. 
Now I put that post to maintain the user in the middle of the field. That way the crosser can run and get free on the sideline. So I wanted to slow that down just so you guys have that. Just so you guys know, if I see that user in the middle of the field, I'm going to try and run another route when I can to keep that user away from my primary target. So just keep that in mind as I'm going back here after we missed Devin Hester on the previous play. Able to get our free form locked in there and hit him on the sideline. Getting him wide open again here on the hitch at a scat. Really, really awesome play against zone. I absolutely love it. Now, right here, I'm coming with a double streak out of, or against cover two, rather. And we go ahead and hit the inside streak against cover two, something I don't normally do, but the outside was just absolutely bad. So I went ahead and free formed it low underneath the free safety so we can go ahead and aggressive catch and get a good animation where the defender can't make a play on it we're kind of bringing that ball back to us so that way there's really no chance of it getting picked worst case scenario it's a breakup but with how good inside leverage catches are this year we're feeling really confident that we can make that throw now i want to show you guys here the defender rushes down into the line that's going to let us hit our running back here underneath typically when they're going to be running that quick they're not going to be able to make a play on it i wanted to show you guys right here against cover zero we're going to be going up against or going with stutter seam rather and i want to show you guys this streak here by chad johnson on the outside against a cover zero look we can always hit that streak really really good play especially if you have that 85 release you're going to need that to get that consistent animation gentlemen that is going to do it for this video i know it's a rather short one we're going to have more out soon again like we mentioned in the start of the video we're going to be streaming live on twitch here i'm going to be making a schedule soon that way you guys can keep up with all the gameplays that we're going to be doing and we're going to be pulling from the twitch editing the videos from there posting them here on youtube so if you can't make the stream don't worry about it folks it's all going to be here on the youtube as well i should mention also before the video ends that we are going to be doing a watch party on the 5th and 6th of september both dates at 6 30 p.m eastern time we're going to be covering the mcs first tournament of the year watching some pro madden breaking it down giving you guys some insights of what these professional players are going to be looking at and what's you know going to be the deciding factors of what each play call they're running so we're going to have a good time boys watching some professional madden slide by if you can hit the channel with the follow i'll see you boys over on the twitch if i don't see you there i'll see you right back here on the youtube appreciate y'all thank you all so much for the support it's been awesome lately I'll see you guys in the next one peace